Oh, you guys couldn't hear anything I was saying anyway. Oh, I said some good stuff. You guys will have to read my lips. Um... Why is that GPU special? Wait, are we live or what? Oh, we're gonna like refresh things. Okay, we gotta pop out the new chat. All right, good, good, good. Mic muted. All right, all right, all right. We're good, we're good, we're good. Uh, pop out chat. Make that big. All right. Oh, the new freestyle? Oh, yo, no, 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 we got, we got better bars, man. We got, uh, where did that one go? It got taken down for copyright. Um, I'm sorry if you missed Touch and Grass Freestyle. Uh, can we play Touch and Grass Freestyle on here? I don't think we can. You know, I had a bad time with YouTube and copyright lately. Uh, okay, so we have some banned terms, and it's anything to do with conductors that conduct more than the normal amount. Well, all conductors in here must conduct a normal amount of electricity, not an abnormal amount. Um, so yeah, the new freestyle is gone, but we have an even newer freestyle. Oh man, I think you guys are gonna like it. Uh, someone I don't know reached out to me and said, yo, I made this beat for you. I want a feature from Tom Cruise. So I sat there for an hour this morning and I put something together. Uh, I'm glad you like Touching Grass, uh, but Touching Grass is gone forever. Uh, semiconductors are okay. You just can't conduct too much, man. If you're conducting too much, you're not welcome in this chat. But the problem with this cover is it comes off sometimes, and I bought a new chair because I'm not poor, but it's going to take six weeks to come. Well, you know, some of us don't have six weeks. So, yeah, I got this cover in the meantime. And it kind of fits on the chair. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see what actually works on this computer, if anything does. Uh, that might be too much light. All right, let's get this set up. We don't need this light. Do we need this light? No, we need that light. Get that light. Like Comet 3X, ain't no one at eight weeks. Don't worry, it won't be eight weeks. Order it right now. One to eight weeks. If they told me one to eight weeks on the chair, I would have been happy. Because at least I could have had hope. You know what I mean? You just got to give the people hope. Someone's out there buying lottery tickets. Your ears. Oh, did I hit something? Uh, hang on. Oh, it's the headphones. This new microphone is so much more confusing to use. They didn't make it idiot proof. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right, so I downloaded. Uh, oh, I'm in there. I don't want to be in there. All right. So I downloaded, and we have the the official Tiny Grad meeting in the Tiny Grad Discord at five o'clock. So you guys will be there for it. Um. Is that a subscriber symbol? No, you cheered one hundred. You. You turn that into seven figures with crypto and then lost it all in Luna? Yeah, that sounds right. All right, subscribe only chat. Mod PS5. That that's really that's really bad. But I don't give a shit about PlayStations. You know what I mean? Like I'm a 33 year old man. Like when I was 21, I cared about video games. When I'm 33, I don't. Okay. Like I'll play some games a little bit, but like. When you're 21, you got nothing better to do. You play video games all day, right? When you play video games, you hack video game consoles. I will never hack another video game console. I just don't care. You know what I mean? Like the 21 year olds can do it and it's cool. It's cool when you're 21. It's not cool when you're 33. You know what I mean? Um, all right. Uh, don't you squawk on. You'll, you'll regret it. You'll just you'll just get ready for a upsetting two years if you choose to use Qualcomm in your product. Right, so we have a llama here. Got to install Sans Peaks.
Does this know how to load? Okay, so we don't have that llama. This should work with the other llamas though, right? Not found. Weights llama two tokenizer model. Um, I downloaded it over here. This tokenizer model. Okay, we have to create a directory called. Oh, it told me here. A directory called llama two. Wait, also that's not even true. We didn't even have an angel round at that valuation. Wait, what are you even talking about, bro? This is not even real news. Troll, 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 troll. I don't like that I have to move these. This is a lot of work. Also spent. Why is it trying to use LLVM? Oh, I know why it's trying to use LLVM. Okay, well, let's hope this works. Uh, LLVM is the only backend that supports BFloat 16. Did someone put that in the loader? Someone probably put that in the loader. There's this file called state, which is the loader. Yeah, here, look at this. Should this be done in the example? Yes, it probably should. Um, so the backend doesn't support bfloat16, so we have to convert it to uh, float16. Does this take forever to load? I haven't tried this yet. I don't even know if Llama2 works. Why is this so slow? The LLVM workaround might be broken on Linux. Oh. There we go. This is mad slow. Right, we gotta get BitCast working. I think this stream's actually gonna be getting BitCast working and not getting 70B working. That's brutally slow. Okay, user. Hi, Stacy. Okay, it works. And then it's like slow to run too. I don't know why this is so slow. No, okay. So part of the problem is that LLVM's linking to uh, some float 16 stuff doesn't work. Probably need to compile RT, yeah. Is this tested in how is this? How does this work on the uh, CI box? Let's see what's failing. 
you guys know about debug in TinyGrad, you can just say debug equals four, and now it'll, yeah, okay. So this is crashing, and it must be this FP trunk thing. I think I can do debug equals five, and we can see the assembly too. Yeah, okay, so we're call queuing what's ever in R. Yeah, so it's not linking to this correctly. I don't know. I think we just got to fix bitcast. So what BitCast is, is basically in a, so what was wrong with this PR? Torch tests fail. Okay. Uh, so what BitCast is, is normally when you do a cast, you also convert the type. So when you do like a float to an int cast, do you want that cast to uh, change the, do you want it like, does for and float mean for and int or do you want the for and float to literally mean for and int? Uh, what are you saying? I'm on stream. That seems like a reasonable test. So I'll show you my issue in TinyGrad where I talk about this. Here in bfloat16 support, this is really what I want it to look like. Uh, oh, but that's like a little annoying. That's not actually gonna be that much better because yeah. I bit cast it to float 32, and then I guess I could normal cast it to half. And I could do that all on the uh, on the GPU. Okay, let's make this work on the GPU. Seems fine. How good is this pull request? Can we, can we just start with it as a thing or should I copy and paste the things in one at a time? I don't really understand that. Okay, but remember, well, this should actually be identical with normal cast, I think, too. Well, these are gonna fail because there is no bit cast. Like these ones should actually just be, I think the same one. Okay, that's a different one. This one is just normal cast, so it shouldn't even be supported, I don't think. Yeah, those just work, okay. So these ones are just normal cast. We're gonna get rid of these as tests. 
but that stuff should work. Uh, different debug levels give specific outputs. Yeah, so debug equals four will print the code that goes into TinyGrad. Debug equals five and six will try to disassemble it and show you the thing after the compiler ran. Um, okay, so we don't need, you see why you don't actually need a bitcast operator. You only really need bitcast operators to go from floats to ints. Uh, so we will check that. Let's take a look at MLOps. Okay, we have cast. It's a little annoying that this is just copy paste bullshit, but it's probably right. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, we need to put it in. Yeah, there's not a better way to do that, really. So we need to put it in tensor.py. I mean, I guess actually those other tests don't really hurt. I guess we could just leave them. Because they are actually technically correct. There's don't know if we're going to support them. You know what I mean? Like because the casts are identical. Okay, we have a bit cast function. By the way, thank you to Bidex for this pull request so I can copy it. Uh, okay, so which runtime do we want this to work on? We're testing on the GPU, so we want to work on the GPU. You know, it's a little annoying that it's enumerating all, like, what's in Ops GPU now isn't really right. You don't want this to, like, prefetch. Like, you don't want this to create a context and a queue on every GPU. I really only want it to create it on one. I don't even see a way to, like, like I can exclude it, but I don't even see a way to like tell it I only want one. This line's hard to read. I see what it is. Okay, so if it if device is being passed in there. I only want to do one. I'll just put this here for now so it's faster. But otherwise it's creating, yeah. Yeah, but there's not an easy way to do that. Okay, lazy buffer object has no bit cast. All right, so let's go into lazy buffer and write bit cast. this to unary ops. But there's so many places I have to change this. Tiny grad's becoming terribly complex and awful. Um, okay. Now we don't have it, so we actually have to write it in GPO. All right, so we have to go over to this code gen. Wow, no one can ever, this code is becoming unreadable. You can look at how many places I've had to edit it. This is as many as Clang. At least it's short. Which of these can be ripped out? Oh, I have 
update ops as well. a lot of lines. Okay, so I don't think this is actually written correctly. I think the way that you actually want to write BitCast for these things is you want to create a raw buffer It doesn't even have to make a copy. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just a view. Okay, so the way you really want to do this on the GPU is you want to take a CL buffer and just change D type. But like that's really where BitCache should exist. There's no way to do this with the buffer. Right, so we're just gonna have to like make a copy. Wait, what is this? No, you do want it because you want it to be able to fuse, right? So you can't actually make a copy. Oh, now I need a bitcast operator in the linearizer. Oh, this is becoming insane. <sighs> Collapsing under complexity. It's collapsing under complexity. Ah, just one more thing over and over and over again. I just gotta sit down. Like, I mean, maybe that's what's frustrating me so much. Like, this all just needs to be refactored. Cast is not an AOU op. Casting doesn't even work. Like this cast stuff's just wrong. If I add it here, I think nothing will get passed through. Complaining and saying key error in exec AST. The interpreter doesn't have it, but I added it. this on. Oh, 
I broke the GPU, I say. So it wasn't using GPU, it was trying to use NumPy. Because I broke it by doing that. I don't really know why. Uh, okay, this is a better error. Um, for the training PRs, what I want to see is a trained model. Right, how does normal cast work? Where's cast? The casts just don't work. Like, I think cast needs to be fixed first. Right? Like, this isn't ready. I shouldn't be doing this now. I'm just hacking stuff, right? And then here's another question, like, maybe bitcast should just be a, a flag on cast. I think it should be. Well, I don't think it should be its own op and stuff. This is a lot of this is a lot of added complexity, right? And this becomes obvious when you start doing this. Yeah. Okay. So let's make some changes, right? And this is this is the tiny grad way. I'm gonna say reinterpret equals true. I'm just gonna call the flag bitcast equals false, right? It's kind of what I'm thinking. Like you start adding all this stuff and you're like, okay, wait a second. We've done we've done way too much complexity here. Okay, so that's not right. Um were there tab? Were there was there white space or something? I hate that. Okay, let's get rid of bitcast. Let's go back to tensor.py. I think what we want to do here is say Actually, I don't need that to be a flag here. I want this to be a flag here. We'll say apply bitcast equals true. Right. Now we can go back to ML ops and we can get rid of bitcast here. And we'll have a slot called bitcast. And we'll have bitcast is false here. It's a lot simpler. I'm not going to make that change to state right now. Um, we also don't need to make any changes to ops if we're doing it like this. Okay, there's just changes to that, which is fine. I don't understand what these changes are to linearizer. Are they white space? We don't need any changes to linearizer either. We might, but we don't need them now. Okay. Lazy pover cast takes two positional arguments, but three were given. Okay, so we're gonna have to add it to cast in lazy.py. So that can go. I'm gonna to catch that. Wait, I added a lazy.py argument. Oh, I unedited it. Okay. Um, okay, so we have an arg, and the arg right now is the d-type to a unary ops cast. Uh, should we make it a tuple? We might want to make it a tuple. You know? Uh, all right, now, 
that's fine. That's the argument that's going into Lazy's cast here. So the arg is tuple d type bool. Uh, element wise op, you know, ops cast. Okay, that's good. Now we're going to need to edit these element wise ops and make cast actually the right thing. Qualcomm is surprisingly still. In the last hour, they haven't gotten any better. Uh, and you might want to consider using rock chip. Let's try it on CPU. Tuple has no attribute NP. Um, true CPU. Why well, must just set self dot D type wrong? Uh, element wise op, you know, ops cast. Yeah. It's not actually that though, there's probably more of this crap. Oh, if you bought a tiny box, you get an emote? That sounds nice. Okay, so what sets self.dtype? Oh, if self.dtype is not equal to arg sub zero. Should I do like a named tuple? It's just annoying. Where do I handle cast? Everywhere I handle cast, we're gonna have to change. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Here, probably. Oh yeah, okay, cast D type arg, um, arg sub zero. It's a little annoying though, that's a tuple. Okay, int has no attribute np. It shouldn't be an int. Should be a D type. Tuple has no attribute NP. So something is still passing in the old cast style. That's arg sub zero. That's passing in falses now. That's fine. Um. That's getting the argument. Oh, maybe this is the problem. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We can go back to this one. But now we want NumPy to actually support BitCast. How do we do BitCast and NumPy? NumPy BitCast. Binary representation of a number returns the binary representation of a number as a string. No. Uh, 
sub okay. Oh, casting unsafe. Okay, so we just have to say casting. Oh, this is nice. Okay. Casting equals uh, no if y sub 1 else unsafe. Cannot cast array data from int32 to float32 according to the rule no. Well, that's too bad. Oh, that's not what no means. I see. Okay, that's not a bit that's not a bit cast. They happen to figure it out in here. How's it done in off CPU? Uh, oh, dot view. Does that work? Okay, that's cool. Try that. Yay! Wow, oh, this guy's good. Uh, thanks again to uh, BenX. You did a good job figuring this stuff out. Okay, cool. We'll call this branch simple bitcast. to the next one. Let's try torch. Doesn't work in torch. See what this guy did for torch. Okay, it's just view. I'm a little upset that that's copy pasted. Should be able to just do this. What? Um, okay. Well, those ones are stupid anyway. Porsche doesn't support what? Gonna skip these ones in torch. Torch. 
Forge really doesn't have these? Okay, fine. Well, this gets fancy, and we're going to need the linearizer. They do not work. Wait, why did you win? Oh, you win 64 to 64. Oh, it is different. Oh, that's cool. That one is different? Interesting. Uh, wait, so does that break? Yeah. Can I do or value error? Does that just work? <laughs> oh, I mean, that's a little annoying. And that should really be checked for like way earlier. Where's the right place to check for that? Probably in lazy. That's just like a different problem, okay? This isn't actually checked anywhere. Um, we want to check it in lazy.py. Uh, search not arg1 or self.dtype.size. That shouldn't give me a value error though, that should give me... You shouldn't be able basically to cast a... Yeah, okay, something else is broken here. Did this never call cast? No, I mean, it definitely called cast, right? Best or fail, right? Insert not arg1, so there is arg1, or what? 
that doesn't make sense. Self.d type is float and the size is one. The size should not be one. Oh, size is one. You gotta do item size. Damn it. Who wrote this crap? No, actually, kind of makes sense. I fall. Okay. Cannot bid cast mission mask G type item sizes. Great. That should work universally for all. I'll just make sure that that actually catches the assert error here. Pretty good about this now, actually. It's a test, that's fine. Those look pretty good. Um, okay. It now works with CPU and Torch. So maybe what we should do now is um rewrite the state thing and see if llama2 works like this okay so instead of going to llvm oh i'm so excited to delete that oh we can delete this i wrote like a crappy thing in llvm uh, we should probably mm, i don't know make sure to be on cpu that should be free uh, dot half to device default. Does this work now? Oh, well, no, because it doesn't know how to do that. Let's just see what happens. Well, that's just not right at all. that's not actually the type so it must be somewhere I didn't uh... what so okay I know what it is do I have where is do I have like realize cast or something? No, but I probably have some special hacks for the realization of cast. Here. Well, that's okay. Those are just hacks for image. But then. All these casts here have to go. Let's see what other tests fail. Those all pass. The ops pass? I don't think that does any D types. Okay, D type mismatch on realize. There must be some bug like I must handle cast in here somehow okay, I move the cast around that's okay what do self dot realize dot d type yeah uh, what sets that
it's all fine, right? Those are loaders. There's somewhere else I talk about cast. I remember I was looking at it before. Uh, well, it's there, and that should be correct. Like out D type should be right. Something is setting realized. Okay, where do we create the raw buffer? Okay, this code needs to be refactored. Like this is hard for me to follow. It's not too bad, but like these all these casts everywhere were such a mistake. I should have never allowed this in. You know, like this it's such a struggle. Like you want features, uh, but then you know, features make things hard to read. So we gotta spend more time refactoring. How is this happening? D type mismatch on realize. Buff up source to realize. So it must be creating a lazy buffer. Oh, I have one creation of it and it's here. Let's uncomment that. There isn't a shape anymore. Let's see that's a uh, D types half. Seems fine. This is where I think it would be messed up, but it's not. Oh, like could it be the LVM back? No, I don't know. Let's see if any other tests are failing. Oh, but I can't create a pull request because I'm not logged in. Great. Nice if we have a test that fails. I mean, this might just be a B float 16 problem, too. I'm not sure how anything's really supposed to handle that. Oh, I do have like a check for that none somewhere because I made a none D type. Because everything else kind of seems okay. Handle this poorly. I wrote hacks. I wrote hacks, and this is what I deserve. 
Uh, so if you look at helpers, you'll see that this has none here because bfloat16 is not supported in NumPy. So it could potentially be related to that. Just trying to realize. Um, oh, I did do, I did edit cast correctly, right? In tensor.py. MLOps cast apply. Big cast equals true. Bit cast equals true, d type, bit cast, input d type, self dot bit cast, that's right. Oh, we got something that failed. All right, sweet. Well, thanks for these very useful tracebacks. No, these just look like other weird failures. Is this because it doesn't download them anymore and they're expected to be like cached somehow? Why do I merge anything? I'm gonna be mad if that's what this is. No, okay, good. Never mind. It's the good one. Sweet. Self.cast. D type stuff from MP come with false. from from Doesn't look fine. Oh, I didn't say CPU equals one. Doesn't matter. Okay, this is a deeper bug than that. Um, oh, well, let's throw some debug in there and see what debug tells us. Tuple has no attribute name. Okay, well, no one's tested this in a long... Oh, ret.dtype is wrong. Okay. Somehow the dtype being assigned to stuff is wrong. We'll just throw in a cert for that, and we should be able to catch it. Okay, so when we create a lazy buffer, I don't know, assert uh, is instance dtype. I wish there was a way to just runtime type check Python. Actually, maybe my pile just tell me what I'm doing wrong. No, so it's not there. It must be something else like setting the D-type. Great. This is a new computer, so like nothing set up. Um,
Come on, my power, tell me what I did wrong. So now that's becoming a topple. Where am I setting D type? You set it right there. It should be immutable, right? We set it here, that's okay. Oh, we set it here. Okay, so it must be this returning the wrong thing from exec AST. Okay. Oh. Do I have a handler for cast here? Wow. Wow, I wrote unreadable code. I'm very sorry to everybody. I can't read this, man. Because this isn't the right exec AST. It's the other exec AST. It's this one. And then does this have a handler for cast? No more short lines. This is unreadable. If it's not short lines, you get crazy amounts of code. Okay. It must be this. It must be from underlying or something. Does this have a handler for cast? Oh, here it is. Is it this? No, but that's probably wrong too. Because you have to get the D type, which is right. But it must be something similar to that. I wonder if that actually fixes the GPU one. Let's get rid of debug equals four. What's an HPU? That's probably the same thing as a GPU. No, it's still wrong. How did that not fix it? Maybe it did fix it, I just didn't save it right. No, it's still wrong. What? I mean, but that made so much sense. It makes so much sense that it's this. Because that's how it figures out what the new type is. It does it in flop counter. Um, like how did I change that and it changed nothing? Looks like it didn't update.
Does this stuff in Tensor also touch it? I don't think so. so. I mean, there's a real question of how is NumPy getting the type, right? So it's being called here in exec AST, and then it calls this from underlying stuff. Yeah, here. Okay, from underlines you're turning the wrong thing. From underlines is not even a thing, it looks like. So it's just the function. It's returning the wrong thing. The R. Buffer is wrong. Oh. Okay, from underlying is being called here with a raw numpy buffer from CPU. This might be what's wrong. Man, this stuff needs to be refactored. I can't, like, this is just so hard to follow. And it's not that, I don't know. To be fair, like, it, just, it used to be easier. I definitely know that. What is that buffer class? Where's that buffer? What what class is that? Raw buffer. No. Doesn't even make sense. Assert is instance dtype dtype. And yet, when I print them out, Right? How does it make sense? Oh, I overloaded knit in some of these. And then I never call super. No, I call super what? Okay, well, we found the problem. Something there is broken. Cast. Passing it into cast, okay. And then this is calling function for op. Oh, <laughs> okay. Stupid, stupid. I was on the wrong type. Never mind. This is a very reasonable bug. This is this is a very reasonable bug. I, I wrote hacks. I wrote hacks for the disk type, and I forgot about the disk type. All right, well, that's what I get for writing hacks. 
Um, actually, I think this can enforce. I think we want all of those to be bit casts, actually, because disks can only do bit casts, right? No, disks can do all sorts of weird casts. No, I don't know. Disks can do other sizes, whatever. That fixes it for now. See, I'm writing a hack. So then I can complain about it later, because otherwise, what would I have to complain about if I didn't write hacks now? All right, well, delete that, delete that, okay. Well, that was a reasonable bug, actually. Right. Um, let me reset state, and we shall try again. That's good, I'm glad we fixed it for that, too. That, and that's the cast there, and that's the cast there. I don't even know what calls that cast, but whatever, that's a later problem. What calls that cast? So the problem was, and the, the thing that we didn't test for properly, was when we use a, when we cast on a disk pointer. We need better casts. We need better tests for that. Let's see what we get now. Okay, we're back in broken LVM land. Um, so what if I do this? Should bitch me out and tell me that it can't cast to B float two is not a valid type. Yeah, NumPy DTAP is required for GCPO. We can improve that error, actually. So we have a disk pointer. So what we want to do is say ret dot cast, or rather bit cast d types dot. Oh, I don't have u at sixteen. Do I have in sixteen? I don't have any of stuff. You know why it's called a short? Neither do I. Nobody does. Mm, let's renumber these. Okay. Types in 16, that's fine. Then, yeah, okay. Let me, uh, I, I wrote the thing that I wanted to do here. Okay. It's this basically. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that's not, we have to go to CPU here. Should be able to do this, then dot half, then dot two device default. Does NumPy support plus 16? I forgot. All right, it's just slow as balls. It works. Um, Does that work? 
Yeah, it loves being slow though. We need tests for this. Bitcast. You're live on the Bitcast. about the time that Nelly robbed the jewelry store and told him to make me grills. I have some theories that this didn't happen because like what are they going to do? Like okay this is a stick up make me grills and then he's going to come back like okay sir your grills will be ready to pick up in three days. Mm. Grills will be ready to pick up in three days, sir. Oh, we should also check what Llama 2 outputs when we use the boring prompt. I have a sample prompt. Oh, now it's slow. Now it loads even slower. Great. But that is clean, right? No, oh, but that's probably slow. Like it might be faster to put the half afterward. Well, we'll see if the two things return the same thing. I'm saying. No, I'm saying it's too many no I'm sayings. Whoa, okay, we have a new one here. I'm a 20 year old girl who's looking for a good lay in Palm Coast. <laughs> wow, this is the default? Wait, so the default Llama 2 prompt when you say hello. They're both 20. <laughs> Yo, Llama 2 way better, man. <laughs> no, like he, he the 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 Llama 1 guy goes on to talk about how he's like the member of like identity groups and stuff. Like I am a member of the Black Student Union. I am a member of the Hispanic Student Union. <laughs> 20 year old girl is looking for a good lay in Palm Coast. Where's Palm Coast? <laughs> Yo guys, you know the internet didn't always suck. Wow, Florida. Oh, you know man, I'm on the other side of the country. <laughs> Meta knows what the people want, man. Okay, uh, no, we were actually going to test something. Um, we can also put half here. It should do the same thing. Maybe it'll be faster. 
She goes to another school? I mean, I want to talk to her. Why don't I wish I can I turn that compiler warning off? It's so stupid. It's about includes. Or maybe there's a way to just fix the bug. I'm 20 year old girl who's looking for a good lay in Palm Coast. All right, all right. Let's try the LVM one. It should be the same. I like wrote that code. No, I don't have to pass something into Python. Is there a way to like. Is there a way to like just enable that in PyOpenCL without rebuilding PyOpenCL? I looked at the code briefly and I didn't see why. Twenty-year-old girl who is looking for a good lay in Palm Coast. Great. No, you can't. No one makes it more. Uh, come out the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs type beat. Crank up the temperature? No, no, no. We test it with no temperature. All right, well, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm not trying weird fine-tuned 27 llama, you know? I like, I like my base llamas. Um, I did try Lama 7 db chat. Someone sent me a link, and I was very happy with it. Oh, base llamas, bro. The world is actually based. It's just commies who try to like pervert it to not be, you know. Can we, can we realize that, you know what I realized yesterday? Socialists aren't real. They're just communists in disguise, man. Like, it's just, it's just communists. Look, look up what socialism means. A political and economic theory of social organization which advocates that the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned and regulated by the community as a whole. Uh... Basically, we hate markets, you know, but I'm not anti-regulation. I love regulation, but only if the regulation makes the market more free. We need markets to be as free as possible. And sometimes you get assholes like Qualcomm uh, who price discriminate and make life terrible for people because they're not regulated enough. Price discrimination should be illegal. And then we can have the freest markets and everything will be great and the number will go up. Um... I genuinely don't wait there's no communist what everyone who says they're a socialist this is just a communist bro like you know you pull off the mask of so oh hey it's a communist <laughs> oh a specter is haunting europe the specter of wow wow this is really getting this is really getting i don't even know if this is appropriate for twitch man this is this is really wow no, we're, we're clearing it, bro. We're clearing it. And the rant about socialists. All right, that's it, guys. It was it was nice being a Twitch streamer. Um, no, that is not true that a regulated market is not free by definition. No, this is not true. You need to regulate the market to make it free, right? You do not want monopolies and you do not want collusion, right? Because if you have it, yeah, okay, we're not going to go into this. But you need a regulated market, but it needs to be regulated to be more free. Just because socialism lost doesn't mean it doesn't work. Do you mean communism? We need to stop saying socialism. It's like a euphemism, you know what I mean? It's, it's, like, it's like a euphemism because, like, everyone knows how terrible communists are. So they'll just, don't worry, guys, it's not ecstasy anymore. It's just clean molly. Um, as a 20 year old girl from Palm Springs, I cannot help you overthrow the government. Oh man, we're not trying to overthrow the government, man. Just like, who likes communists? You know, nobody. How do you prevent regulatory capture? Because you just make the regulations not the kind of things that are being regulated now, right? You don't regulate something in order to make it safe. You regulate it to make it free, right? If you're ready to make it free, you'll get everything else as an outcome. 
right? Like, I don't know. Dude, the EU is poor, bro. It's sad. It's really sad. It's, I, I was over there last year. It's like, it's sad. You, you just look at, the, there hasn't been growth in these countries. And like, you have a degrowth strategy and that's all great. But like, you know, like, like, look at, okay. All right. I don't know how we started on this. Um, no, the Nordic countries are fine, actually. The Nordic countries don't seem to have this problem. And I mean, we can go into theories about why. No, it's not. Diversity in the US is legitimately great. I, I legitimately like diversity, guys. Like, there's a reason I live in America, you know? Um, it's, it's just a shame that, like, they weaponize. It's a shame, you know? That's what I mean. Like, it's a shame that, like, like th these, like, racists found this new way of just, like, we're just gonna scream diversity a lot, and then we can be racists. No, no, you, you can't. Racism sucks, bro. But if we scream diversity and talk about inclusion, then we can be racist, and no one will figure it out. No one will figure it out when we put the whites on one bus and the blacks on another bus. We'll call it I don't know what we'll call it. We'll come up with a good name for it and we'll say it's under the banner of diversity and inclusion, right? Because if we say it's under the banner of segregation and racism, that's bad, but we want the same policies. So we'll call them diversity and inclusion. And then we can put the whites on this bus and the blacks on this bus, which is what we want. But no, you're a fucking racist and you deserve whatever hell racists go to, right? Does it make sense? That's right. That's right. You can go on. We have two buses and there's the expensive bus and the cheap bus. And that is how we discriminate against people based on how much money they have. And if you want more money, you can just work harder. Or we can have communism where there's two buses and they both suck. <laughs> POC zones. <laughs> Look at how do these people just, just, just not like... No, but I'm not a racist man. It's, a, it's these people. We have these people in these race in this zone. And that's not racist. Because cause I got a degree in whatever, man. I got a degree in oppression studies. <laughs> There's two buses and they're both going to work camps. I love it. I love it. <laughs> um. No, there'll never be abundance. Abundance is a myth. People will always just invent new things to want, you know? When you have to say, I am not racist, you already lost. Yeah, I don't know. Not enough people have called them racist. I don't know how they'd really respond to it. Like, I don't understand why these people genuinely just didn't right away, like... Like, it took a bit for everyone to kind of see through it, you know what I mean? It's like one of them rap battle tactics, you know? You know when you, like, 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 like do this, like whole whole rap battle tactic about like you know that like, like loudly proclaiming like like how large your dick is you know what i mean like we, we know it's not big bro like we know it's not we know it's not well i'll call you a bluff whip it out like just like oh you're late to the party well welcome to the party um we are we are streaming and we believe that zones that only allow one race of people are racist. That's what we believe on this stream. Um, if we discriminate against people based on their race, that is the definition. Textbook racism. 20 year old girl from Palm Coast. Yo, Llama 2, you were very inappropriate. You were very inappropriate on my Twitch stream and you get a strike. Um. Okay, we get we gotta finish doing we gotta finish doing bitcast. Oh, we have the meeting. Okay, so every unless it's women only clubs, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, look, that's not racist at least. Uh, you know, the 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 races diverged genetically twenty thousand years ago. Men and women diverged genetically a long ass time ago. Uh, true facts. True facts.
how many genders are there? I don't know. Whatever gender you want to be, you can be. See, and that's that's the flip side of all this stuff. Like, whatever, man. You want to change genders? You want to be a different gender? You want to say you're a different gender? Like, that's all cool, man. Like, whatever. You know, who cares? And that's the problem. That's the problem. Both sides have agreed they care. And that is how they get you. The only way to win is not to care. I wanna be software too, man. Someday I will be software. Someday I will be software. And someday we will understand that socialists are just communists. All right, why do I ever turn off subscriber only chat? And, and let you, no, 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 no. No one should target your children. No one should target your children. This is not, this is not okay. But see, that's like, this is what I mean. Like, like you can't, you know, there's just no nuance in society, man. There's not, no nuance in society. And that's the problem. Because if there was nuance, CNN wouldn't exist. And we all just live to serve CNN. Oh, let them divide you and get over it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll repeat the line that I heard Barbie described as post-woke, and I really like that. Like, guys, it's over, man. The wokeism's over. You know what I mean? I heard, like, after Mao died in China, everyone was just, like, looking around and be like, Yo, so that, that guy was crazy, right? Like, like, he was crazy, right? Everyone, We all thought that, right? And, and everyone's like... Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little, a little, a little, yeah. I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought it up. You know, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad someone's saying it. You know, it's, 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 I think, I think, uh, yeah, I think that's a good. <laughs> All right, so we go on Discord at five p.m. Uh, you are welcome to uh, join the meeting. Um, people might not want to talk today. We'll see if people want to talk today because they are on stream. Uh, let me check my DM over here. Uh, shouldn't be. I'm getting a DM about how Tiny3 is down. What? Why is it down? Uh, let's see what Tiny3 is down. Yeah. I got a DM about how Tiny Three is down. All right, so streamer mode's enabled. I don't know what streamer mode is, but we're joining Tiny Voice. All right, so we join Tiny Voice uh, every day at 5 p.m. Uh, and we talk. And I do it with headphones because otherwise there's echo. Tiny two is off. Uh, tiny three is up. So I don't think other people will be able to hear the other side of the voice chat. Uh, oh, this is hard to do on stream also. Oh, this is Skybree. You can join Skybree's Discord. She streams on Twitch. Um, someday I will be friends with Skybree. All right, so usually what we do is we go to the tiny grad pull requests and decide which ones we want to merge. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't. I, I use a different browser for all my streaming stuff, so uh, I'm not actually logged into anything. Um, okay. Support symbolic expand. Support expand into symbolic shape by doing the bounds math. 
This is probably fine to merge. Oh. I guess this is fine. Okay, so this is a little annoying because LT nodes can have both, uh, can have two nodes. If self equals B return num node zero. How did this used to return false? I don't really understand this. Oh. Okay. Uh, if self equals B, then yeah, obviously I guess less than is not true. true. Something's not less than itself. Uh, so I guess that's fine. Yeah, I think this is fine to merge. Uh, I'm fine with merging that. Uh, for this, yeah, you can merge it, yeah. Um, for this one, uh, I'm reluctant to merge things like this that like add lines and, and, and it's not clear why. Is the creator of this pull request on the channel? Uh, okay, I don't see, yeah, I, like I ran the fuzzer a few times and it didn't find anything. The, the risk of bugs in these things is like kind of high. Or like, is that always true? Pulling a GCD out, you know, see there's a lot of subtle ways for things like this to be broken and if it's not if it's not like benefiting something, I think it's not worth it. Um, yeah, you will have to check those. I, I think we, I think we close this pull request. Okay, merge, close. This one's work in progress. Uh, I don't think it's quite enough to lock the bounty yet. So I'll, I go, I'll show you guys the the bounty spreadsheet. Um, I unlocked a whole bunch of the bounties yesterday, just ones that were like stale. Like you want the bounty, bring it over the finish line. Um, in order to like, in order you get like zero percent of the value for eighty percent of the work. It's not until stuff's merged. The problem is when things aren't merged, they become stale. Um, so there's good ways. Like all of these are kind of in like a kind of half done state. If you look in the closed pull requests, uh, so you know. There's, there's, it's pretty easy to go do these bounties. Uh, literally free money. Um, this one is here supporting this bounty. It's one of the thousand dollar bounties. Uh, a hard one. Um, this one. Oh wait. Yes, full jitter llama. Uh, why do I have a different name here? Oh, you change your GitHub ID. Okay, cool. I'm not crazy. That's good. Um, yeah, again, I don't understand. I think that actually the test failure is unrelated to this. Oh, no, it's a linter failure. Okay, no excuse for that. Um, this good to merge or no? Uh, that one will be cleaned up. I'm echoing through somebody. Who am I echoing through? Uh, oh, and then this one. No, no, found what's wrong with SD. Okay, so <laughs> this one is a deceptively 
easy slash hard four hundred dollars. Um, it's four hundred dollars, and it's very few lines of code, but they need to be much better tested. Like now that I see it, we merged this once and then had to revert it because it was broken. Uh, what this basically does is when you're doing a reduce, when you're reducing like a big matrix down to a single number, it breaks the reduce into two parts. So you can do first the matrix down to like a small matrix and then all the way down to one and it lets you get full utilization of the GPU. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm scared to merge that one again. Uh, that's work in progress. Uh, G1Y, how we doing on this guy? What, uh, what, 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 what loss are we up to? What? Um, there's a bounty for getting the loss on CFAR to 94%, which matches. So there's this thing called a uh, CFAR HLV. Um, before we can like sell the tiny box, I, I want to beat this. So I want the tiny box to basically be better than NA100. Um, and it's the same price as NA100. So a 80 gig A100 is going to set you back about 15 grand and that doesn't include the uh, computer. So it has 80 gigs of RAM. So a tiny box has uh, 144 and it has more than double the flops, uh, like triple the RAM bandwidth. So we should be able to beat an A100 comfortably uh, on CFAR. And then all these bounties here are for training all the MLPerf models. It's on my board over there, AMD on MLPerf. Cool. Can I, can I lock the SVC bounty? Yes, I can. This one here. Uh, again, so I'm not, I'm not logged in. I'll do it over here. You know, I need an AI to maintain the spreadsheet for me. Jacob's spawn is now locked. Uh, and I will change least compressible to Chen Yu XYZ. Got it. Uh, yeah, I wonder how much the the LR thing helped. What else? Oh, weight normalization. Like, what else are we missing from the original repo? You took... Wait, we're not using Galio? We should be able to use Galio. If, you, if you're still getting 94 on the main repo, putting these things back, then it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with, like, like it's, I think that's a smart way to probably approach it. Like take the main repo and just rip things out until you still get 94 and then kind of meet in the middle. Cool. Um, yeah, this one's exciting. And then this one's exciting. Uh, training multi GPU. Uh, how close are we to merging the first half of that? Uh, yeah, okay.
Oh, wait, but this doesn't require... Oh, I see. Okay. But this one doesn't use P2P. Yeah. I see. I think the main thing, I think what we're going to have to end up doing, I said this yesterday, is rewriting a AMD backend. Um, after this is merged, I can I can start working on that. I, I mean, we have to do it. I think before we get to uh, like seriously training these MNIST models, uh, these uh, sorry, these MLPerf models, I, I think there's two big things still like missing. Um, one is we got to get like the gem stuff integrated. Like, we got to make the single GPU faster, and then we got to replace the back end with something that will run this stuff blazingly fast. Um, like a CUDA cache looking thing. I, I don't know if, if, if HIP has one, but I want to try to like just get to the kernel and, and talk to the kernel in the... Uh... So I have, I think it's in TinyGrad, um, in extra rock M. Yeah, I have this thing called Sniffer. Uh, and Sniffer just shows you all the actual ioctals. So I think it's going to be like 500 lines of C um, to talk directly to the GPO. And then we can like use a DM engine if we want or just use anything. Um, and this is all separate from which compiler we end up using, right? So this is like, like it's a little bit overloaded now, but there's a distinction between runtimes and compilers. Um, so like, think maybe I don't even like I took this all out uh, but like here like the code gen you have PTX code gen CUDA code gen and Triton and they all generate PTX code which is done in this uh, in this runtime actually this even still includes a compiler which should probably kind of be taken out of here and then it's just the runtime not the compiler uh, if that's doable for the thing Anything else? Sure. Uh, did I see it? Got it. Um, well, the other one, okay. Yeah, I mean, what what I need to see is like here. What, what's specified in the uh, cleanup code? Support all sizes. Test with eval set. So I want to basically see all the sizes and then the eval set and making sure that that scores as well as the OpenAI one. Like that. That was the whole things went off the rails. Like that was the whole bounty from the beginning. The whole bounty from the beginning was all sizes. Test with eval set. Done. Oh, well, cool. Let's uh, yeah, yeah, post the post the, the results um, like we did for the the llama. Uh, the llama the llama one above it did a good job of like posting the like standard LM eval stuff. Um, you know, we, we got to make sure that these models are not just implemented but implemented correctly. Yeah, removing removing the bros is great. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean, is it just needed in the pre-processing or is it needed in the runtime? If, if it's needed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's needed in the runtime, we have to do it. But if it's just needed in the pre-processing, I don't know. But I'm, I'm happy to rip it out 
even if it's like 100 lines of code or something. Wait, what do you mean it's five dependencies or more? No, 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 but what you're saying is Librosa. Uh, how many lines would it take to replace Librosa is what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, great, yeah, let's replace it. Uh, cool, yeah, I mean, yeah, but, but, but for that pull request, what I need to see is all the different sizes versus all the different eval scores. Uh, what GPU do you have? Oh, that's pretty old. Uh, is it slow? Is it? Do you do you want a do you want a thirty nine hundred? You want a seventy nine hundred? I mean. Oh, well, it sounds like we got to fix that first. I mean, this is this is part of cleaning it up, right? And this is what I mean about like why I like having the, uh, the why I think like like the goal of the bounty is to have all the evals run because you got some GPU and we're able to run it on them. Right? Like it being too slow is a problem. Okay, so you're saying you're saying it's blocked on 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 Jit Llama to be no, but see this shouldn't really be a problem, right? Like if you can do it for one size, the Jit should not make it any like like the big one shouldn't be any harder than the small ones, right? Because that Python overhead is constant regardless of the size of the model. Well, actually, that might not be true. If the if the model has more layers, that's not necessarily true. But if just the things are bigger, it doesn't matter. That's all GPU. But cool, yeah. I mean, post some numbers about how slow it is and how long the test that'll take to run then, and then we'll see what to do from there. Cool. Uh, Tiny2, Tiny3 is back up. Let's see if Tiny3 is back up. Tiny three is back. Uh, I don't know why it went down. Did someone do a pseudo power off, or maybe I kicked the wire? Yo yo. Um, so we're over here on Tiny Five. Uh, Tiny Five is the latest in Tiny Box technology. It's right over there. Um, yo, I was working on. I finished the cab model for the case. Well, I finished the outline of the cab model for the case. We're having Kama's mechanical engineering team actually do the case. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm, qu I'm quite excited about how it looks. And then we're going to have tiny boxes in commas data, uh, commas compute cluster. And then we can, uh, not have to power limit them, which would be nice. At my house, they have to be power limited. Cool. Anything else for the meeting? Great. Oh, oh, unified attention. Oh, I would love to merge that. I would love to merge. I want the good torch one, not the not multi head attention, but the torch one. That's like like I want to add that to tensor. I think it's like QKV thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Scale dot product attention. Yes, that's exactly what I want in tensor, and then uh. Yes, let's let's write that and then we can put the flash attention bounty on. I mean, yeah, so okay, get it to the point where Lamajit's not merged. Uh, and then if you get the pull request to a point where you say, this is how much speed up I know we're going to get, or you know what you can even do, just, just, uh, merge in, I mean, 
pull in Lamajit stuff uh, if you can do that. Or, or get it to the point where you're like, look, here's the eval set. I'm only running on 5% of it now, right? Like 5% of the eval sets are already pretty good. I think that's what the LM one ended up being uh, for a similar problem. So that's totally fine. What's a flat AST in compiler? You mean the, we have a linearizer? Yeah. I would I would put this in an issue. Uh, if, if you want, like, like if there, if there's some actual like improvement proposal, I would put it in an issue, and then I can look it over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, look, it's hard for me to think about like this. Put it in issue, and I'll take a look at it. All right, cool. Oh, no worries. Uh, yeah, no, and then we can like track it. And then the, the problem with like doing it in these conversations, and I need to be better about this too. We track things in issues. So then when someone else has the same idea, we can call back the same conversation. And this is ideally how it's all supposed to work. And one day LLMs are gonna index the world. It's gonna be great. All right, cool. Is what a good, oh, improving compile speed? I mean, Oh, I mean, yeah, it's great, but how do you want to track it? So like benchmarking things as CI is annoying and then doing uh, doing self-hosted runners is annoying. Is it a good idea? Yes, all things are good ideas, but with the implementation is what matters, right? And this is, this is true for, this is universal advice, good for the stream too. Um, with all things, tracking stuff is a great idea. Now, how are we going to track it? What does the implementation of that look like? What are the downsides, right? Uh, I have another saying I say at Comma all the time. Engineering is all about trade-offs, right? So do we want to track compile time? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Now, is this tracking going to be useful? Is it going to be intrusive? Is it going to be like, what are the downsides, right? No, 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 look, 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 look. Got to be in an issue. Got to be in an issue. These meetings are sync up meetings. Uh, yeah. I'm done. Good meeting. <laughs>question policy still applies in meetings like it's just it's just like we're doing something clear in the meeting if you want to ask generic questions there's other places for it it's not the meeting uh the meeting i hate meetings uh we do that every day at five uh you know like look the tiny core it's all right don't you know i don't know why i started another company and like now i gotta finish this stuff i have money from investors it's not like a big deal like oh you can give the money back yeah you can give the money back but then you know, there's a lot of money in tiny boxes. There's legit a lot of money in tiny boxes. Um, I hate managing people. I really hate managing people. Like, uh, everyone needs to read the questions document, you know? Someone in voice chat was just asking me questions. Like, don't ask me fucking questions. Like, like uh, here's a questions document, all right? <laughs> Uh, well, this is the how to become a hacker, but there's the uh, how to ask questions the smart way, right? Yes, the smart questions document. Everyone should read this, right? 
Um, I don't know. I kind of hate doing the voice chat meetings. I don't know if they're useful. We might just not do them. Um, just like I have something to do at five every day. I mean, it's kind of good. It syncs things. You know, this is the, like, this is the, welcome to like the tyranny of remote work, right? Like, you're going to end up with, um, you know, what you're going to end up with, it's such a double-edged sword. What you're going to end up with is better and better metrics that track people, right? And then metrics that track people give way to AIs. And like, I know all this stuff. And I mean, this is kind of like with the company. Like, um, what is a company in the future? Right? When we live in like this world of you can pay AIs to do anything. I, I, I started reading Age of M. Uh, Robin Hanson talks about this kind of stuff. Um, no, I don't know. I, I, you know what? I don't like the meetings and I don't think we should do them anymore. I, I think we have to work out like a, an async strategy. Um, like a Discord and a GitHub, you know? The meetings are kind of meh. I was I think I think the meetings are over. I don't do the meetings anymore. Uh, that that's just like being asked questions piss me off today. I, I think that I mean there, there's some like there's some useful things that like are better to sync up with voice chat. But I, I think that maybe it's not worth it. Like we just have to be better at expressing. I don't know. I'm not a good manager. I'm really not. Um, comma work because of who I hired. I think they're probably too frequent. I, I agree with that. Okay. Well, I mean, this is when we do a comma. All right. We'll move the meetings to Mondays. We'll move, there'll be Monday meetings. Monday meetings. We'll do an hour meeting on Monday. That's the same thing we do a comma. Hire a manager to do the meetings. Once a week. Once a week. Okay. Meetings are once a week. You guys can figure out a time. <laughs> I just, I dread doing the meetings. I dread meetings. I dread meetings so much. Uh... The comma meeting, at least the comma meeting is like, yeah, okay. No daily stand up. Look, look, we're gonna try things. We're we're eloning this shit, man. We're eloning this shit. We're, we're we're gonna just try things, and some of it's gonna stick, and some of it's not gonna stick. Why is the tiny grad logo a fish? I don't know. It just was a fish, and now it's still a fish. You know. You want to make a new logo? Make a new logo. If someone wants to make a new logo for Tiny Grad and you're you're good, you know you know what? You want to be a designer at Comma? Make a good Tiny Grad logo and then have Alex like your portfolio and you could be a designer at Comma. We're we're hiring we're hiring a designer for Comma. Um, no, this is the part I just I just hate. You know I hate ugh. dealing with people pisses me off. Dealing with hardware makes me very happy. Dealing with like. Oh man, like I get, I get like, I got these little PCIe adapter boards in the mail. I put that computer together. You know, that makes me very happy. And then dealing with software, eh, kind of meh. The fish should go on the tiny box. Yeah, let me go put the fish on the tiny. Do you see the prototype? No, you can't make a lot of two to run the meetings because no one wants to talk to a computer. Like, Mm. 
would like to get Tinybox access. I don't know, why am I just reading Discord? I just, I just, ugh. why did I start another company? I mean, this is like, it's a really good idea. It's just like, there aren't gonna be any quick wins. It's just gonna be a long slog. Well, we can pass PyTorch eventually, but it's just gonna be a long slog. I don't know. Why did I raise money? I don't even need the money. I could have bootstrapped this pretty easily. Like the tiny boxes are literally going to print cash. Like I would have bought this for $15,000. Just no one builds it. Um, gotta make AMD's software a little better. I do hate Qualcomm, that's a good point. Um. I mean, yeah, then, oh, then I'm gonna have to build it. Like, we have to build a chip, really. The, the real end game of the Tiny Corp is building a chip. Oh, I used to have something here about someday we will build a chip and it'll be fast. I mean, this is the only, this is the, if you wanna build an actual chip for deep learning, which nobody has really succeeded at, except sort of Google, all right, like the GPUs are not really made for deep learning. Uh, the GPUs just happen to be kind of good at deep learning and now they added like, so the H100 is now getting like closer to the thing you wanna build, but they didn't approach it from a clean slate. You can actually do a lot better um, using TinyGrad. Like this is the right approach to AI chips, but do you think I have what it takes to make an AI chip company? No, honestly, not really. They will nationalize NVIDIA. I don't know, man. I don't know if they'll nationalize NVIDIA. What about Cerebus? To this <laughs> When you get the Saudis to invest in your company, this isn't high tier money, okay? Look at who Cerebus is selling to. It's getting too much sun. Move the plant here. Let's the plant. Um, all right. Uh, no, I'm 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 done streaming for the day. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do work to prep for my, uh, my debate. Oh, Tiny Grant has like the right ideas, you know? It's all about execution, George, it's all about execution. All right, get ready for a slow and steady slog forward. Make, train all of ML perf on the Tiny Box. Get Tiny Boxes stood up, like it's fine, you know? Like, it's all fine. It just needs to be chill to do. And meetings are not chill, so meetings are over. Except for Mondays. Mondays can have meetings. So Mondays are on a chill day anyway. Um, you know, the real, like, shame is that, like, there's all these people who, like, used to actually be good at this kind of stuff, right? The people who were good at, like, organizing. Today, they just want to scam. Like they, they genuinely, they're either incompetent or the competent ones just want to scam. And in a way, like why shouldn't they scam, right? Um, no, they're lazy. Like, yo, it's only your future, man. It's only your future, you know? I'm just, I'm just angry about the whole thing, you know? Qualcomm and all this fucking mediocrity that's tolerated, you know? Well, we'll continue doing this. We'll continue doing this. Just 
slow and steady. Improvements every day, no regressions. That's what you gotta do. If every day, Tiny Grad gets a little bit better and it never gets worse, then Tiny Grad has to pass PyTorch, right? Um, no, I mean, this library, I'm, you know, we're thinking of switching to the rock chip. I'm not using RKNN. Like, we're just gonna have to write a Tiny Grad backend for it. Um, and you spend a bit of time making the models fast. Like, this is actually, this is the right software to build. This is what I come back to all the time. It's just like, it's gonna be a slow and steady grind. It's just gonna be a grind to get this thing to be faster and better than PyTorch. Except we already reverted so much stuff. Great. No, all I reverted was fucking Windows. Windows is banned from TinyGrad. Anyone who wants to use TinyGrad with Windows can make WhinyGrad. WhinyGrad can work on Windows and it's a fork. <laughs> um, WhinyGrad. <laughs> uh, no, we were... <laughs> the only thing I really ripped out was Windows. <laughs> uh, do I have any companies that are public? No. You do understand your company doesn't go public. It becomes owned by bankers. Like, like you haven't really like, do you want bankers to invest in your company? Do you want bankers to have majority share of your company? Let's look at the Qualcomm board of directors, right? Are they wearing suits? Guys, we're in a fucking suit. <laughs> exactly exactly this is what happens when banks own your company right no like it's <laughs> sunny grad can work on solaris no <laughs> um check nvidia all right all right let's check nvidia They look way better. <laughs> do, you, do you know you could just do that? And then you can... Their chief legal officer actually looks based. Oh. Mark Andreessen's on the board, you know? Might I note that he's not wearing a suit. <laughs> Uh, have you ever met Zuck? I used to work at Facebook, guys. Um, is Cheryl still in the company? Yeah, but you know how these people are. Look, Cheryl Sandberg's not the problem. When you're big, you're going to get canceled for all this shit. Again, we've talked about this over and over again. The, you don't understand. Like, actually what's really gonna happen is the cancelers are not gonna be able to get jobs in 10 years, right? Like, like sure, now it's whatever, man. Like, don't let the commies work in Hollywood. Now look who's running Hollywood, the commies, man. <laughs> you know? Uh, no, I fuck DEF CON, man. DEF CON, you know what really, you know what DEF CON really jumped the shark? DEF CON really jumped the shark when they checked vaccine cards. Like, like above and beyond what the state asked for, they decided to take it upon themselves to check vaccine cards. You went from a, we only take cash, to buy your ticket online with a credit card and we're gonna check your medical records. Like, are you kidding? What kind of hacker conference is this, right?
Um, DEFCON needs to fire whoever did that and issue, and issue a public apology if they ever want anyone who's remotely serious, like, as like a hacker. Like, you're going to get two groups of people. You're going to get posers and you're going to get security researchers. And that's fine. If you want to kick out anybody who, like, believes in old school hacker ethos from DEFCON, that's how you do it. Check vaccine cards. I'm not against the vaccine. I am against random fucking people deciding that it's their job to look at my medical records. Um, the cancel shall inherit the earth. Yeah, man. The commies run Hollywood, right? No jobs for communists to communists run Hollywood, right? It's funny. Um... Definitely no digital vaccine cards. The European ones are scary. They actually use strong cryptography. At least the American ones were a piece of paper. Uh, any tips with the focus on as a new cybersecurity student? There is no cybersecurity, man. Anything that has the word cyber in it is fake, okay? Like, think about it. The only person I've ever heard use cyber is, like, the media. Cyber terrorism, man. They're gonna some. They're gonna come cyber on here. You know. You know. You, 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 who that that girl's dad? Jesse Slaughter's dad's gonna call the cyber police. <laughs> Cyberpunk's okay. Cyberpunk gets a pass. But everything else that's cyber is 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 not a right. Uh, um, Casino Odyssey through cyberspace. Uh, well, you know that's old. That's old. I'm just saying now. I'm just saying. All right. All right. Fine. Cyber's okay. No cyber sex is creepy as fuck. Who's having cyber sex? Um, <laughs> you backtraced it. You backtraced it. <laughs> uh, yeah, right, man? Nah. Um, do I believe in aliens? Wow. Uh, if you subscribe right now, I'll answer that question. Um... Do a backwards prop after every convo? Yeah, that'd be nice. Guys, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I just, you know, you have to quit six times before you succeed. It's just it's just like one of the rules. Like, I'm not doing anything else. I'm just gonna slowly get better. I'm gonna come up with better ideas for this. We're gonna eventually make chips and we're gonna eventually surpass Qualcomm. And it's cause I care. It's cause I care. You know, it's not because I care because like any like 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 good, it's just like what else are you gonna do, man? That's the real truth of it. That's the real truth of it. Like, you could get through life half-assing and scamming, but, like, what did you live for, you know? You know? That's it. Ah, it's a slow and steady race. Roxas Brandon, thank you for gifting subs. Um, Tiny Grad is going to be the framework for on device. No, Tiny Grad, yes. Tiny Grad is going to be an operating system for robots, really. This is really the, this is really the play. Um... You can run it on a Raspberry Pi. It might even be okay. I don't know. Raspberry Pis don't have much compute power. It's a real problem. Yo, you know what you really want to run it on? No, no, no. I mean, maybe we do really need to. No. I got to focus on AMD. But but these things. You can buy these for nothing on Amazon now. Every robot should use these. Like, fuck Qualcomm. Every robot should use this chip. Literally, do not buy a Raspberry Pi. Buy an orange Pi. It's $99. This chip has six tops. This chip has a serious GPU. Um, yours gets toasty? Well, yeah, they should have put a heat sink on it. I don't know why they didn't. Yeah, this looks sick. No, seriously. Uh, it has the word rock in it. No, this is <laughs> their base, man. They got rocks. <laughs> uh, no, I'm telling you, orange pies. Orange pies. Yeah. Uh, I bought one. Is my orange pie here yet? I don't know. I can't, I'm not logged in. Um... Oh, then I gotta group people into teams. No, fuck all this, man. We're not doing management, okay? We're doing a GitHub and a Discord. And one meeting a week. Um. Alright, I'm done complaining. I'm gonna eat tacos. No, I'm gonna eat tacos. And then I'll finish up the BitCast PR. And then we'll slowly get Lama set. I don't know. I haven't streamed in a while, too. I'm kind of bored of streaming. Like, what am, I, what am I streaming for? It's all just the same conversations and the same thing over and over again. I'm into debating now. Connor Leahy, tomorrow, you think you're 5-0 in these debates? 
You have never debated me. Probably watching my streams today. Prepare. I got to watch your streams to prepare. We got to prepare. Let's go. Tomorrow, I'm going to convert you to effective accelerationism, but we don't have to call it that. We're just like, bro, don't be afraid of the AI. Be afraid of the communists because that's who scares me, man. Communists. Look at what communists have done. Like Russia and shit, man. And look at what AI has done. Beat humans at chess. And that's cool. All right. So that's it. That's my sign off. Uh, don't kill anybody and don't use a large language model.